Hi, hello there. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do another traveler's notebook layout and I'm going to be using uh, just a few items. This notebook cover that I'm opening, I got made subscription box from Archer and Olive and I'm just kind of showing you what I've got stored in here. I've got another traveler's notebook that I actually kind of tore apart and then some photos and then the traveler's notebook that we are gonna be working in today. So I'm going to go ahead and put all that stuff back and uh, get on into the process. So I have this picture of myself and my husband from a photo shoot that we had done last year and I love it. And when I saw the first page of this notebook, the love this so much, I just knew that they would be perfect together and decided to go for it. I'm using two stamp sets from Studio Calico. I'm using the November stamp set and the Banner Words stamp set, and then a sticker sheet from Allie Edwards. I do believe it was from a, um, like a kit, so I'll just leave a link to the website below in case you wanna check it out and see if there's anything personally you would like. Um, but I don't remember which kit it came from, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is use the captured word from the banner stamps and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it onto another like individual sheet that came from like an Amazon order that I placed. I'll link that below. It was like a kit. It came with four separate themed like embellishments I guess you could say uh, or journaling stickers and stuff like that. So I'll link that below. So I'm actually going to layer my photo on top of this piece of like script paper uh, with my captured stamp. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of dry fit everything in to make sure it's fitting exactly how I had envisioned it in my head. I do pre-print my journaling. I don't really like my handwriting that much. Um, so I just went ahead and took a whole bunch of photos that I do like and kind of pre-did some journaling for them. And I have them stored in that notebook holder that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape everything down. This is going to be the background um, and then my capture should pop out over my photo. And then I will stick my journaling down. I did print that on matte sticker paper uh, from online labels. I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> I'll have to double check and just put it in my description. I always forget the name of the place that I purchased the clear sticker paper from. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my photo down. After I get my photo down, I'm just gonna add um, a bunch of stamping to the love this side, the green side, and then I'm going to add two stickers as well. As a forewarning, there might be a little bit of camera shaking. My daughter hopped up onto the desk next to mine and decided that she wanted to help. So by helping, she meant slapping my, um, my camera. So <laughs> I tried to cut as much of that out as I could, but there's a little bit in there, so I apologize for that. I didn't actually use the October stamp set that I have down here at all, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. I'm going to stamp thankful for this, I believe is what it says. Um, I'm going to stamp it on my scrap piece of paper first, which is what I'm pulling out now, just to make sure that it's stamping correctly since I haven't used it yet. And then I'll move over and stamp it onto my actual layout. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull out those Allie Edwards stickers and I'm going to put down a sticker that says, remember this, and then I will put down another sticker that says thankful. And in my mind, I didn't realize that I'd already stamped thankful for this and then put another sticker down that says thankful. So it's a little bit repetitive, but I still like the way that it ended up looking at the end. And then here's where the majority of the shaking happens. Uh, my daughter loves putting sticker down so she wanted to help me place this sticker, which she does here in the next couple of moments. I'm just telling her, go ahead, swipe across. <laughs> and then she's asking me if I'll put another one down. <laughs> 
so I do I do put thankful again down and then I'll add one more stamp I don't actually have a ton of embellishments so the next couple parts of this are gonna be me just kind of like seeing how things work I'm gonna pull out a album that I have a six by eight album and I actually well I'm gonna do that after I stamp this last stamp that says happy times together 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 um, I just thought it would be really cute overlapping that with the kind of main header that I've got going on the love this so much header so now I'm gonna bring out my album and the things that I get from the studio calico subscription box actually have like holes in here so I've just been throwing them in this album because I've not really done a ton in this album yet so I'm just kind of using it as a storage place for right now and I pull out this puffy heart sticker which I realize matches absolutely nothing so I'm just gonna put that right back <laughs> But I've been keeping those puffy stickers from Studio Calico in that album and it works out perfectly. I'm going to go back and pull out my Euro Wizard stars that I got from my last subscription order. And I'm going to place uh, several gold stars around. I place two on top of my photo and then I'm going to use the blank space between Love This and So Much and place two stars there as well. I do move the one that's on the right over a little bit. Um, but I didn't leave that in because I ripped the paper and I was trying to like figure out how to position it so that it wasn't as noticeable. But I'm going to go ahead and then add the date that this photo was taken, October 3rd of 2021. And then kind of clear up my workstation and then that is all that I did today. A super quick and easy layout. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you had a great time. And I hope you have a great rest of your week as well. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Bye.